The recipient of the Engineering Medal for Entrepreneurship is Dr. Paul Santier. I think the bug had bit me back uh, in my undergrad years. Uh, that's when I first got exposed to polymer generation practical processes and whatnot. And then my first position at post my PhD was in the Ottawa Heart Institute where I got to go down and work with the surgeons. And so I had the advantage coming into when starting my own research lab to know the clinicians and be able to talk to those end users and build solutions to products that I knew they would be able to use. Interface Biologics is a company that commercialized three of my very early technologies. These technologies are all built around small molecules that can be added to plastics and transform them into life-saving devices. There's a family of materials that we designed as surface modifiers that um, when incorporated into plastics, they migrate to the surface, they interact with blood proteins, and they minimize clotting. Well over 800,000 patients have had those catheter lines uh, placed into them. And when you hear the testimonial stories of the difference that this technology has made, uh, in their lives, it's, a, it's hard not to be moved by that. What's coming up next for Interface Biologics is pretty exciting. We've been working with the largest manufacturer of blood dialysis in the world, a company called Fresenius, and uh, that technology undergoes about a million dialysis procedures a day in the system. Our technology is contributing in a dramatic way to uh, solve that problem. Uh, these will be introduced on the market in the U.S. Uh, early on, then Europe, and then uh, around the world. That will be absolutely transformative for the company. It will turn it into a very, very high multi-million dollar company, which will free up uh, research resources to be able to move on to the next big thing. A program that I helped create here at the University of Toronto is called the Health Innovation Hub. It's, uh, or H2I for short. It's a small incubator that allows uh, students to learn the process of entrepreneurship and then teach them to network, protect their IP and interact with investors along the way. The reality is, is that um, graduate students often want to do graduate degrees but don't necessarily want to go down an academic path. So how do you keep them turned on? How do you keep them in places that are on the edge? You do that by setting the stage basically to allow innovative young companies to evolve where that, in, where that creative science is being used so it's been a very exciting project. Uh, you know, the Health Innovation Hub was formed uh, two years ago in 2015. Uh, we're up to 58 active companies. We've trained uh, 79 companies to do what I've learned to do over these past years. And uh, their net revenue this year was 2.5 million. I know that's a very, very small number from the billion dollar number, but we are the minor hockey league, basically, of entrepreneurship. If nobody builds the junior teams, there are no NHL stars. As a leader in his field and an inspiration to entrepreneur-minded students, engineer Paul Santier is recognized with the Engineering Medal in the Entrepreneurship category.